in in time. Okay, you know your kid won the goldfish in that little baggie from the school fair and you flush it down the toilet? Well, this is what happens. Men in Black 3 is incredibly visual. The good thing is I get to work with Rick Baker. Designed to all the alien creatures. You could take it out of context and know that's a Men in Black creature. When I was first approached about the original Men in Black, I mean, nobody, we didn't know what Men in Black was. I, the first thing I said, it's going to be really hard to do aliens that don't look like things that we've seen a million times. I mean, we wanted to take the alien seriously, but the movie is also a comedy. You know what I like about the first Men in Black and the, and the second Men in Black is the aliens aren't necessarily in your face all the time. I love that those aliens will be, you know, 30 yards in the background of a shot. It'll be four times that you watch the movie before you even pick it up. My relationship with Rick Baker is kind of great. Every time I start a movie, I said, show me some aliens that don't have eyes and don't have mouths that are really sort of unique. And Rick, of course, as he's done in every movie, creates these great aliens and I go, you know, Rick, that's great, but if the alien doesn't have eyes, how do I know where he's looking? Oh, we get some eyes. And if he doesn't or it doesn't have a mouth, how do I know it's speaking and not just thinking? All right. So what happens is I always frustrate him. In the movie, well, I, I just a, uh, I'm an alien with a kind of an exposed brain in the scene where Emma Thompson is speaking. I think of Rick Baker as one of cinema's great, great artists. It's like walking into an art gallery. Early on at his shop, I would go over, first of all, just for the fun of going to a shop, because it's great. Hi, I'm Rick Baker, and we're here in my studio. Why don't we take a look around? We have this time travel element. The 2012 aliens are much more like contemporary aliens. You're going back to 1969. So you get these kind of bozo looking aliens. Dad, I'm on Earth. I need bail. Retro aliens. And to be able to do my version of classic science fiction aliens was a lot of fun. There's a clever inventiveness to the creatures that Rick Baker creates. Oh, Jesus. I think the first day we put the makeup on, it took eight hours. Sometimes I have to get up really early, two or three a.m. as they're gluing things and spraying things onto my face. Man, I love working with people like that. You can always ask them lots of questions and there's always lots of stories. I try to make something that looks as good as it can possibly look. I mean, that's how I have fun. Yeah.